everyone, it's Miss O'Neill here. For our math lesson today, we are really quickly going to go over the rest of the practice book page that I had you work on yesterday, okay? We are on the practice page for 12.4, deciding when we need to regroup. So you already have all of the questions answered because that was your assignment from yesterday. Today we're just going over the answers, making sure that we are all good and all correct here before we move on to finally subtracting inside of our tens and ones chart. It's gonna look really cool. Okay, so the question that we're on now is 36 minus nine. Column number one, which number is bigger, 36 or nine? You're probably noticing a pattern here. The bigger number is always going to be the first number when you're subtracting. Okay, so 36. 36 means we need three tens and how many ones? Six ones, awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. Amazing, great job. Can we take away nine from the ones place? We're deciding if we need to regroup now. Do we need to regroup? Yes, we do need to regroup. So gonna take this 10 stick, put it over here, but I can't have a stick over here. I need ones cubes. So I'm gonna put that away and bring in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, 10. Awesome. So now I have two tens and 16 ones. I still have 36 all together here. Now we're on column number three, subtract the ones. So I need to take away nine from my ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put all of those over here, cool. So now we need to figure out how many tens and how many ones. How many tens do we have over here? Wonderful. Two, two tens. And how many ones are here? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two tens and seven ones is the answer to the third column. So what's the difference? What is the answer to our subtraction question? 27. Awesome, great job. Let's erase these and let's go on to the next one. Put these back, put these back. Awesome. 29 minus seven. 29 minus seven. My bigger number is, awesome, you got it, 29. There's two tens and here are nine ones. Now we need to figure out if we need to regroup. Do we have to regroup here? No, I have nine ones here, which means I can take seven away. So I don't have to put more in here, okay? So we circled, no, we do not need to regroup here. Now we subtract the ones, take seven away from the ones place. Or the, yeah, the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put those back over here, cool beans. How many tens do I have here and how many ones do I have here? Nice, you got it. Two and oops, two. Awesome. So my fourth column, what's the difference? What is this number? Amazing, super awesome job. That's 22. So that would be your answer for this question. The difference is 22. I'm gonna go ahead. Now we are on to question number eight, the last question, okay? So my question here says 81 minus five. 81 minus five, column number one, the bigger number here is 81, so that's what I have to put on this chart. 
Let's go ahead and get our eight ten sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool, just barely fits. How many ones do I need to put in the ones place? Yeah, you're right, just one. Oh my gosh, I don't know about you. I am sweating, that was hard work. Column number two, do I need to regroup? Do I have to regroup here? Can I take five away from this number? Oh, I need to regroup. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this 10 stick over here. But I can't have a stick over here. I need to replace it with 10 ones. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. So now I need to subtract the ones. I need to take away five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. How many tens do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome, just seven. Seven tens. And how many ones do I have over here? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Amazing job. Seven tens and six ones. What is our difference? Nice, amazing. 76 is our answer. Remember, I had you skip number nine, so this is the last problem on our practice page. Go ahead and give yourself a kiss on the forehead and a pat on the back. Amazing job. Ooh, that is it for our math lesson today. Just go ahead and make sure that that practice page, 12.4, has all of your answers written down. Okay? All right. Love you a lot and miss you a bunch. We'll see you soon.